Hello and welcome to Crop Science 6049. Today we are going to look at the soil profile. By the end of this lesson, you must be able to describe the soil horizons and their significance. First of all, let's define what a soil profile is. A soil profile is a vertical section of a well-developed soil, showing distinctive horizontal bands, also called horizons, which differ both in appearance and chemical composition. Soil horizons are grouped into the O horizon, the A horizon, the E horizon, the B horizon, and the D horizon. This is the diagram that is showing the soil profile. Let's start off by looking at the O horizons, which are also known as the organic horizons. It forms above the mineral soil and is formed from dead plant and mineral matter. It commonly occurs in forested areas. It can be divided into the O1, which is the original forms of plant and animal residues, which are slightly decomposed. The OE, which constitutes residues that are intermediately decomposed. The OA, which constitutes organic residues that are highly decomposed. So what are the significance of the O horizon in crop production? The O horizon provides nutrients that are needed for plant growth. It also provides organic matter that improves the soil structure. It also reduces the rate of soil erosion since the top moist soil is vulnerable to erosion. Let's take a look at the A and the E horizon, which are also referred to as the alluvial horizons. These are mineral horizons that lie at or near the surface and are characterized by maximum leaching alluviation. Alluviation is the removal of material in suspension from a layer. So in the A and E horizon, there is both leaching and there is also alluviation. Let's take a look at the A horizon. The A horizon is the topmost mineral horizon containing a mixture of humified organic matter which impart a dark color on lower zones. The A horizon is the second layer of the soil. It is referred to as the top soil. It is composed of highly decaying organic matter and minerals, and its color ranges from gray to brown. It is the layer that hosts many plants and supports many agricultural and grassland areas. Seed germination and the growth of plant roots takes place in this soil layer. It is distinguishable by the different soil types which include loam, clay and silt. It is also the soil layer that is most vulnerable to water and wind erosion. Let's take a look at the E horizon. This is the third and the thinnest soil layer, and it is lighter in color compared to the A horizon. It is termed as the layer of maximum alluviation due to the leaching of clay, iron, and aluminum oxides and resistant minerals such as quartz. As a result, this layer is depleted of aluminum, clay, organic compounds, and other soluble elements. It is mainly made up of silt and sand after losing most of its minerals as they move down through the soil. Let's take a look at the importance of alluvial horizons in crop production. Alluvial horizons supply nutrients to plants. They also anchor the plants. They also contain majority of macro and microorganisms which decompose and supply nutrients. Now we want to look at the B horizon. The B horizon is the fourth layer and is also referred to as the subsoil. It is mainly made up of large rocks, clay and bedrock, 
the color of the subsoil is lighter than the layers above it. It is also composed of minerals and organic matter. The subsoil accumulates a lot of silicate clays, aluminum and iron oxides and organic compounds from the layers above it, a process known as illuviation. Hence, it is sometimes called the illuviation zone. It is the layer where roots of big trees end. It contributes less to plant growth because the roots of plants can't reach the layer and it lacks organic matter. So this layer has very little significance when it comes to plant growth. Horizon C Horizon C is the fifth layer of the soil and it is also known as regolith. Plant roots do not go through this layer and it has very little organic matter. It may or may not be the same as the material from which it was formed. The color of the sea horizon is gray and is made up of fragmented pieces of bedrock. Also, it has compacted sediments and cemented geological material. Very little activity is present in this layer, but there may be instance of addition or losses of minerals and other soluble compounds. It is outside the zones of major biological activities. Plant roots do not grow through this layer. So this layer also or this horizon has no significance when it comes to plant growth, besides being where the soil that is above may have originated. The Ara Horizon The Ara Horizon is the sixth and final layer of the soil. It is also known as the bedrock. The materials here are mainly solid and weathered rock that are cemented and compacted by the weight of the overlying layers. The color of this layer is gray with several hard rocks. The layer is beyond 50 meters from the topsoil. Some of the rocks found here include granite, limestone and basalt. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, additions and subtractions, please write them in the comment section down below. If you have benefited from this lesson, click on the like button.